So here's the deal. The cows come from over there, coming through here to head to that side. Uh, we had to put these gates up to keep them uh, getting out through here when we're running back and forth. But we want the gates to stay out of the way. So we're going to mount them in a way that, uh, we're going to show you all how we mount them in a way that uh, the gates will kind of want to fall to the right spots. So uh, we'll show you how we done it. because I still got my solenoids messed up. That gone, me and that crane is not getting along well. <sighs> yes, me and the crane. It's a noisy ending golf cart. Well, look, you gotta look in the screen. You don't make people drunk. So you gotta look in the screen and shoot. That's hell. He's backing up the golf cart. Wait. Dad, something happened to this camera. It goes off. Is it still moving? That's probably good. Let's see where these gates get. That's, so that's what so what this is when you run cows through, you open them gates up and run the cows through. These two, these two right here, they'll connect, keep a... Yes, we will have to mount our screwy dudes to where the screwy dudes hold gate preparedly. Say, hmm. each other's underwear down boys behave okay so we drilled a half inch pilot hole with the wiggly bit wiggle, wiggle, and the Levi bit. Peabody is screwing it in you're gonna need a longer wrench boy ground you remember oh. what was the measurement I think it was like right here it was 12 inches all right mm -hmm. so we're gonna go down here which is kind of low Okay, 
Let me put another screw dude in there. Hear that fence mm -hmm. popping? It's grounding out. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it really hard? You do it. Find out for yourself. Well, I can't do it with holding this camera. Here. Need a longer wrench. Hang on, I'll get you a longer wrench. Here, take your, take your camera. Take your camera. Oh, you guys, take my wrench. You folks are magnetic. You took my wrench. Yep. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Look How right big side. that one. That one was. All right, Cal Mavin. Righty toddy, lefty loose. Uh, this is this is too big. Go. Boy. Boy, you're killing me. There we go. Okay. That's how we gotta figure out how the wrenches work. Okay? Whoa, Whoa. what are you doing? You gotta get it started. Watch your noodle. Man, this GoPro's getting heavy. Hey, Daddy. Oop, that uh, wrench is a little bit big. I need to get you a smaller wrench. I'm not what, boy? Huh? I'm Levi's over here farting. I he's... swear I'm not. I'm not. I told him to tighten it, and he's farting in it. You're not supposed to fart in it. You're supposed to tighten in it. Boy, none of them listens. None of them listens to their daddy. Matter is they need to beat more. They need to beat them more. There you go. Try that wrench. Yeah, a little bit better. Drop down from an inch and a quarter to an inch and an eighth. I got these compartments I welded in here. Now, Whitey, I know is thrown together, but it's got everything we need in it. Ooh, including loose tools. Where does this go? Nut drivers. Not there. A piano. Okay. I welded them together because you get your angle wrenches and they had the small wrenches and they all get thrown together. Everybody throws them together. But you got your big jumbos, angle wrenches, and supposed to be your smaller wrenches down to 7 eighths or 13 sixteenths, but it gets all gobbled up. But it kind of keeps my wrenches together and it absorbs that room I got in there. My stuff isn't fancy, but it's effective. Good job, Calvin Mallon. And you trade off, you get tired. Jack can quit you to dig in your butt. Okay. All right, take it in until there's no more threads. Take it right in until the end of the threads touch the board. Okay. Oh, get her lined up. We're straight up in there, okay? Okay, now we'll need to... Uh, number two. Now we'll need to plumb up. Let's get a uh, four-foot yeah, level. Two. Good job. Calvin! What? I ain't taking him nowhere. Like Getting ready to take them to Walmart. I'm sure everybody's gonna give me a nasty look. Oh my god, you're taking your Corona kids to Walmart. Oh, <laughs> holding this Corona wrench. kid. Look at that. It's a poster child for a Corona kid. This wrench makes me feel like I'm some dude in the junker about to knock somebody out. All right, here you go. That's practicing for uh, protesting when you grow up. When you grow up to be a good kid someday, big kid, be like all these other kids that go out and protest. Huh? I'm holding uh, these guys with the end of my wrench. Daddy will beat you if you go protest and try. You guys are magnetic. Over. You're sticking to my wrench. You think, they're, they think, you think they know they're magnetic? No, probably. Okay. So, we'll measure a little bit. And this is just rough because that top one slides up and down. You lose the Karen, stop farting. It's a little over three foot. That'll work, because we'll sh 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 shoo him in right there. Okay. We're going to make it cross here, and then here's where the center of the hose is going to be. All right. Okay, Ross. Let's get my bill grit. How you doing, Tom Alex? Jackson, you helping your brother? He's not letting me help. We'll get over and, and be ready to back him up. Today, we work. Boy. Get in there, boy. Get out of that wrench. Get out of there. That's what you guys are sticking on here. We're not kissing on babies today. We're making men. 
We don't kiss on her, man. We make them. You ready? Hurry on a drill hole. Get ready to drill a hole. Fire! Oh, yeah? Destroy your butt with my boot here in a minute. You okay, Jack Jack? That's a tough baby. Look at him go. It ain't his first rodeo. We are one screwy doodad short, boys. We're gonna come up with another screwy doodad somewhere. You, we'll be in sassier days on kiss beat you. I'm gonna kiss beat him. You know what? That's a tough boy. Look at him go. Now, don't get to bumping on that stuff. You hear that thing popping down there? Get your leg down there where it's popping, it'll zap the crap out of you. So, be careful. Now here's how I usually do this. It's a habit that I like to do. And I know people's got other ideas, but you don't want your cow to be able to get their head under it and raise up and pick the gate off of it. I've seen this happen. So you take one, you turn it down. See, that didn't get done right. I don't know who done that. Maybe I even done that when I was a kid, but that didn't get run right. So the way you're supposed to be is one down, one up. And I took the top one and I screwed it in a hair farter, just a hair farter, so the gate wants to swing shut. So when you swing it shut, it wants to stay shut. The bottom one's tacked on. Tartar kind of tacks them on the bottom. And they leave us the ones on top loose. So what you can do then, I don't know why I'm doing a kindergarten thing. I don't know if this is gonna help anybody. I'm sure everybody knows how to hang the gate, but if somebody don't, I'm hoping to help you. Okay, so stick your bottom on. Bada boom, bada bang. And then you pick the gate up and slide the top one up on there. Calvy Malvies. What? Come help your dad. Oh, go ahead. Keep screwing. You're almost there. Go one more round. You can do the rest, I guess. There it is. Good job, budgie budgies. Teamwork. Teamwork. That's right. Teamwork is dream work, boy. You know how ordinary people accomplish. Yeah. Listen to me. Listen to your dad. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here, you listen to your dad. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know how ordinary people accomplish extraordinary things? Mm -hmm. How? Oh, okay, that they don't do teamwork. How ordinary people accomplish ex extraordinary things is through teamwork. Mm -hmm. teamwork and beatings. And, and beatings and lots of beatings. Yeah. Don't forget. You got to get beat a lot. Come here and pick up this gate. And then Daddy will start this one on. Okay, you ready? Yeah. yeah, you don't need that socket. Daddy just had that socket in his bag, that's why. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick that end up, and then I'm gonna put this end up on the on the hangy do on the screwy doodad. Okay. Copy? Copy that. Technical terms. Alright, pick up. A little bit more. Are you doing okay? A little bit more. Right there. Alright, let off. That's got us. Right here, you can film it then. This is a uh, photographer, Calvin Malvin. All right, now let me have the gate now. Hey. Now, what do you think? Hey, I got it. Watch it. See, the reason you do your screw do that just right, watch this gate. It'll shut on its own here in a minute. Hey, Daddy, the screen's black. Watch it. See black. this? The See it? The screen's black. That's all right. It's still working. Ain't that cool? Yeah. And we done that by screwing the top one in just a hair farther. Yeah. This screw right here. Yep. All right. Well, let me get the, uh, let me tighten her doodad do up here. And then well, this gate will be done. Done right? for the day. And that way gravity will keep the gate shut. Look. No hands. Okay, just keep that in mind. You're using gravity. What's it won't start. Does it crank over? What? Does it crank over? Hmm? Does it crank but not start? It cranks, but it okay. goes. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we can't handle the zzz. Well, all right, Jackson, take your daddy. All right, now go. We'll be back. Love you. Don't let the gate fall over, I'll beat you. 
It's the only way to keep these children in line is through sheer intimidation technique, which I have mastered over the years, haven't I? Haven't I? I've not mastered it? Mastered Are you what? scared of your daddy? Answer me, boy. Answer your daddy, boy. He's trying to concentrate. Hey, over here. Nothing. Love that focus. That boy's really focused. Yeah. And really cute. I just happen to like him. I don't know. I guess I'll keep him around. You know what? You think Dad will keep you around? I'm talking to you, boy. You think your daddy will keep you around? Do you think your daddy will keep you? Yeah. Or do you think I'll get rid of you? I don't think he buys any of my crap. All right, I'll be right back. You go up there with your brothers. Okay? Well, there you go. I'll be back. Gosh, I love this thing. I love this Jeep. Buddy, somebody else. The only thing you all need to drive right now is that Go camera. <laughs> somebody get the camera and come over here and drive that thing. Okay, three foot. Okay, right there will be about the same place. All right, Levi Peabody, where you at, boy? Right here, Daddy. Daddy? I got the camera, Daddy. Oh. Okay, um, we're trying, we're doing the fourth of what we've been doing the whole time we're here, other than, you know, yada yada. Well, you got a, got the, you got the screwy wrenchy doodad? Yep. All right. You want daddy to screw one day, finally do some work around here? No, I'm doing that one. You want to do this one? Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's get her done. It's all aluminum. Ain't gonna stick. Well, your brothers need to grab it. Yeah. Your brothers need to pull their load. No, I, I, I'm not holding it. Yeah, Justin, hold the camera. Let me do my work. Do your work, boy. Get her done there, boy. I 
Get the work done. I want to do that. We're going to leave, uh... So... Uh, I think... One thread out. Sure so you treat on one day, do it so we can get it done. The second one of these nail things, these little... Dad calls them. It's fun? Okay. You and Dave, Corden? All right, come here. There's a nail plane somewhere up there. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Let do something. Let do something around here. Okay, see, look, now look. See how quick Dave can do it. Yeah, but for me, it's fun. Yeah, but I got a lot to do today. Not to do today. We got a lot to do today. Yay, Walk is what you mean? Yes. We gotta work these babies. Yay. Plumb to death. That means learn the golf cart. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's one thread hanging out. Okay. Okay. I can Everything you do takes too much time, boy. No. I could just pull Wasting that. Wasting time. Daddy's got stuff to do. I could just pull that pin with my fingernail. I could just pull that pin with my fingernail, Daddy. What's your son like? I can get to put your finger in my finger now. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Jackson, open another gate. See what it does. Perfect. Until the wind blows it back. Okay. Whatever. Whatever, wind. So mean. Oh yeah, beauty, beautiful. Am I gonna touch a cow? Stuff. Yes, you're gonna touch a cow. Yeah. We're gonna touch you are the babies cow. and cows. You are the cow. Act like you're getting through there. Move, move. Oh, you're not supposed to do. <laughs> no, you're not shooting the cows. Not yet. They're not finished. Okay, so now we got it done, and uh, looks pretty good. You boys agree? Does it look pretty good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a pass inspection. All right, now we'll take the thing of a bob off. Go shut, Levi, go shut that gate and chain it up. <laughs> Levi's gonna go shut that gate and chain it up. So once we unchain it, then the idea is, is you unchain it, give them both a little kick. They'll both fall to where they're supposed to go. Hey, Daddy, am I gonna get shot? Get the they're going to have a gauge. It's very important. All right. Start it up. So do you got air pressure already? Yeah. Okay. So you're good. Start it up. All right. Now, before you move, the red's the trailer always. Your red's always the trailer. Your yellow's always the truck. Do you have a trailer? No. So you leave the yellow pulled out or the red pulled out. All right. Release your brakes. There you go. Now your truck's in neutral. If you lay off your brakes, see how it rolls? Okay, so what's next? Yep, put her down D. You let off the brakes, she'll go. You okay? You got this? Oh yeah. That's up here. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let your daddy out. All right, got this? There you go. Be careful. He's on. All right, now hang on. Okay, now you see how Daddy pushed that clutch in? Remember driving Blackie? Yep. Right there. Goes over in the first. Okay. See that? Let's catch Levi coming through. <laughs> that brother of yours ain't got a lick of sense, you know it? Oh, Calvin's out of the way. He looks so cute in there. See, here's the thing. Daddy ain't raising babies, daddy's raising men. You understand that, boy? Yep. 
They're gonna be a good man someday. They ain't gonna have signs sitting out there in the middle of the road crying about stuff. We're gonna be working, get stuff done, making the world a better place. And they're gonna be sweet. They're gonna have sweet women. They ain't gonna raise them right. I wanna go down. I wanna go down and All right, ready to shift? All right, get ready to go second. Pull it down. Get in the hole. You're in neutral now. See? Go back to first. We gotta take back off now. You ready? You're in third. Look at the pattern. Look at the numbers. They're sideways, but look at the numbers. Pull that back out of third. No. There. Now what gear are you in? Well. Yeah. False. What gear are we supposed to be in? False. And what gear are you in? Fourth. You're in fifth. Pull back out of fifth. Now you're in reverse. Pull it to neutral, and then when you get to neutral, you feel how it goes like this? See, look. See that line right there? Yep. That's when you're in neutral. So you want to bring it over here and go up to being first. No, you went to third. Bring it down. You got to get in neutral. See, you're neutral. Now put it over in first. Do I go? All the way to you. Pull it to you. Push it straight up. There, now you're in first. Now, what are you gonna do when you go to second? All right, ready? Shift to second. Pull down. Why the Jeep's still rolling? There you go, you got it, you got it. Are you in second? Nope. You're in neutral. All right, hang on. You still ain't made second gear yet. All right, get in first, all right? Now we'll turn around. Now pull up here and we'll turn around and we'll back around. All right, ready? Stop. Now put it in reverse. No, you're in fourth gear. No, now you're in second. You're in fourth. Stop. I got it. Now you're in reverse. Okay. See that? Now you know where you're going. Okay. This time put it in first. No, you gotta put it up in neutral first. There you go. There you go. There. Now after we press the cattle guard, we'll put it in second, okay? Go to second. Go down, second. All the way down. You ain't down yet. There you go. That's why I bought this Jeep to teach these boys how to drive a manual. Because that's a daddy's job. Any daddy out there, that's your job. Teach your kids how to drive a manual. Wait, do I put it in? Yep, go to first because we stopped. You're not pushing straight up. It's easy when you push it up the right way. You're pushing it sideways. There you go. There you go. All right, now don't run the fence. We're gonna go to second. You ready, set, go. Yank her down there. Yank it. There you go. <laughs> All right, good. Honey. We'll put it up in the yard up here by mommy's kitchen. Okay. Now, it ain't gonna have the power to climb this hill in second, you're gonna put it in first. So put it up in first. You're not, you're pushing sideways. There you go. There you go. I'm shifting the jig. <laughs> He's shifting it. Yep. All right, now how do we, now you ready? Leaving first, because that's how we shut it off. Now shut the gear, shut the motor off. Now you gotta bring it all the way back. I'll push this down behind the key. And you gotta pull the emergency brake. Pull it up. Yep. Is it up all the way? Okay. I was shifting the Did Jeep. Did you set the park brake? Yep. Okay. The you pull it back out? 
Did you pull it back out? Yep. There it go. Psh. Did it go? Psh. Yep. Okay, that's how you know when your brakes set. That's when you release your air going back to your uh, service brake, your uh, emergency brakes. Put it in neutral and turn it off. Yep. I rolled out the windows. Levi. You good boy. Jackson shifted the Jeep. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I heard you say going to the And ground. I was stealing it. I, I was helping. Yeah. I seen you uh, going to right. grass and pull back. Now let's go get a drone buddy. Uh, Guinea down there in Peon. Then we'll go to Walmart. We'll all put her masks on and go to Walmart. Please check it on the map. Okay, let's see here. Hi, everybody. How uh, you see? You going, Daddy? You staying up here? Boy, you going with your daddy? You staying up here? There we go. Daddy, you staying up here? Are you going, Daddy? You staying up here? Okay. You got your shaft again. Well, we're gonna go down. We're gonna check on P. Almond then, and Granny, and see what Levi's are doing. We're gonna go down and check on P. Almond Guinea. You wanna go? Okay. Well, come on. Park your rig. Hurry up! I got a drone flight. Is that gonna sit there? I think it's gonna sit there. All right. You can drive, you can steer, but Daddy's gonna shift because I'm gonna try to get us down there. All right. I kind of feel bad for the cow. So, where's the drone at? It's up in there following us.
shot. Boy, that new rake's looking pretty good, boys. I should probably get that from my hands. There's hardly any uh, mechanical parts to fail. I love that about it. A lot of moving parts is unnecessary. I mean, it's going to work bad. Okay, let's go up here. Let's go down here and check on Denny. I'm actually pretty good at at time driving. All I need a long now is. I'd say she'll be down. No, I don't see her. I don't know why I didn't make it. They've already failed this. There's the guest house. There's us coming around back behind the guest house there. I see you, Dad. I just want to put this thing in the second. this field up. There's your equipment shed down there. There's a great service truck. Here's where the cattle feeding section is down here. We do some shooting down there soon too. We're gonna do some of this long hallway down here. We do some shooting down there from time to time. I guess we'll do this back at the editing booth. I guess my phone quit on me. Uh, we was having quite a bit of fun with the boys. Uh, all Jackson, I think, from what I caught from this, is Jackson wanted to go into second gear. That's what I think I caught. Did you hear that, Jackson? <laughs> Did you hear that when you, when you was driving the Jeep, how you kept wanting to go to second gear? Now, guys, look at this. This is our guest house. You can go on uh, BRBO. Any big parties out there when they rent that house out there, uh, it usually stays pretty crack a lacking through the summer. It's in between guests right now. Uh, it's, uh, uh, Flossie, thank you, Flossie, and uh, she's got a helper that comes and cleans that thing for mama. Um, 
and we're the backup if something happens to Flossie and them we, we stand in for but that don't happen but probably what once a year Flossie's pretty daggone reliable she's a pretty good gal always has been um, but uh, anybody uh, I think it's on the BRBO website it's in uh, Derby Indiana and I think it's called the Martin Ridge Guest House so anybody uh, and let me know if y'all do somebody does rent or something let me know when y'all's coming I'll come faster at you that concrete pad right there where all them chairs are around I've been known to drink a beer or two around that thing uh, with some guests sometimes but it's, it's pretty it's pretty good view uh, it, it's pretty good view stuff and we need it the porch the only part the part that worries me this camera's acting up and I'll drop you down where you can see it Got three stories in there. Uh, the top stories for the basically the loft for the kids to sleep. The deck. I'm not happy with her deck. Uh, Mama says she's about got to pay for it. If the kids finish paid for it, she's gonna put a new deck on it. We might come up with a heavy duty. I don't know. I keep saying we got all kinds of stuff to do, so I don't know if we'll do it or not, or have to hire it done or what. I got some dreams about the deck and stuff. I don't want to do with some steel underneath. Uh, black paint is still underneath with some wood on top, uh, top of construction. I don't know if we'll ever do that or not. It just depends. She might end up hiring it out, but but anyways, that's that's kind of our little spot there. I have not got the rake with the new rake. Since she got the new rake, she's not needed me. <laughs> I don't know if she thinks I'm gonna tear it up or what. What's going on, Ginny? It's starting to look a little obvious. But no, Big Daddy's uh, enjoying the rake. He said something there that I didn't catch up to because I hadn't used it yet, but he said something about coming off a hillside with a leaning. And because the rake kind of works off of, uh, you know, not really gravity, but I don't know. I didn't catch what he was actually saying. The hay's kind of thin right there, so that's why the windows look a little thin, but it's not bad. And with a drone, it's hard to tell. But look, it's pretty fluffy rim rolls. You just don't look it from the air. Hay gets a little thin on the right hand of the screen down there. You know, that grass kind of... Don't have a lot of leaves in that grass. Don't, don't thicken that real thick. But, well, hope you all liked it. Have a good one. Uh, leave me like, comments, all that bull mess. Don't forget to smash the like button. Smash the crap out of it. And then uh, ring the crap out of that bell. And uh, thanks, y'all. Catch you on the next time.